What is up you guys? In this video I am going to talk about Canon EOS R weather sealing and does it hold up to rough weather conditions? I must say I had this camera since it came out for over a year and I have a lot of experience using it in rough conditions. I took it to Peru, Italy, Ukraine, Costa Rica. I've been using it here in high humidity and I know this camera in and out. So let's take a look at these slow motion shots again and let's see where the water can actually come through. So it can come through the side rubber seals where the microphone and HDMI input is. It can come through the battery door. It can come through SD card door. It can go through the LCD on the top, rear LCD, and the water could probably get in between the gap where you attach the lens to the actual body of the camera. So as you can see, the camera is still working after I poured a whole bunch of water from each side of the camera and I went ahead and I decided to open up the body of the camera and actually see if the water got through and where it leaked, if so. Let's open this bad boy up and let's check it out. After carefully examining the insides of the camera, I found out that the water got through SD card. And it makes sense because all the other doors are sealed with the rubber. This is the only door in the camera other than the battery door that doesn't have any rubber at all. So you could see here a small drop of water that actually got inside to the motherboard because of the door of the SD card. Also, like I mentioned before, I took this camera to a bunch of places and in Costa Rica, it was so humid. It was raining every day. It was a disaster. My lens actually stopped working the first day. I crashed my drone. You could actually check out this video here. So what I noticed was this camera, if you use it in rain for about 30 minutes or so, it still works and everything. But the viewfinder, first of all, it gets foggy and it's annoying. It unfogs basically after like a couple days. And the top LCD gets wet. So at one point the water drop got in through the LCD and the drop stayed there for a couple days. I put it in rice, I've dried it with a hair dryer, I've done everything and I couldn't get the little water drop out. Like I said, I had it in rice forever. Long story short, it still works. It's a little bit annoying that these things happen, but the reliability of this camera is very good because after all, it's still working, so we are good to go. Also, before this, I had a Canon 6D Mark II. I also actually did a weather sealing video about this camera. It's up here. Uh, that camera, I think, has a little bit better weather sealing compared to EOS R. And I think it's because the body of the DSLR cameras, they're usually more rugged, they are bigger, and they have more ceilings. And the way the EOS R was designed is much slimmer, compact body. And I guess they couldn't do it as, as good as the other cameras. So if you're looking for a camera in the market, I would say DSLR is a little bit more weather sealed. And to be honest, I have big hopes on this EOS R5. To me, it does look a little fatter and kind of has a DSLR look. And there are rumors that this camera is basically replacing the 5D series. And if that's true, I have big hopes for EOS R5 because it should have way better weather sealing. So the main question is, does this camera hold up? And I say yes, yeah, there are little uh, things that bother me. Yes, the viewfinder will get foggy probably after like 15 minutes in rain. If you're living in humid places, you will see issues like that happening. The biggest question is, will it still work? And yes, it does, which all that matters to me. If the camera is working and I can rely on it and it's not gonna break in the middle of something, I can take it to my trips, I can take it to any gigs, and I know this camera will work no matter what the weather conditions are, unless, I don't know what happens. <laughs> also, what I noticed is, that I say the camera bodies, as far as Canon camera bodies, are more weather sealed than their lenses. Even when you buy an L lens, they're usually not as weather sealed as the bodies. In past, couple of my L actually serious lenses, uh, during rain, the autofocus would stop working. It happens a lot and it kind of sucks because they price them so high, but they're not as weather sealed as their cameras. I wish they would weather seal the lenses as good as they weather seal the camera bodies. So like I said again, if you are worried about weather sealing when you choose in Canon EOS R, whether to buy it or not, I would totally recommend it. As you could see, my test proved it is reliable. There are little things, but I mean, this is not waterproof camera. So what can you expect? It's weather sealed. Small rain here and there, it's fine. But don't expect it to have it soaked in water for 30 minutes long and it's still gonna be working, it's fine. 
but to me it did so but don't take chances don't listen to me so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helped you in choosing the esr whether to buy it or not if you're focused so much on the weather ceiling i also linked the camera in the description under the video so you can go to amazon and check it out if you want to buy it or not please 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 if you do have canon esr i would love to see comments below how does it hold up to you? Uh, have you had any issues like I did? Have you had it in rain and severe weather and what happened after? I would really like to know. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Peace.